Hey, what's up guys? Uh, making this video, I had some questions about this Edge Connect, so I'm gonna make a video for y'all. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. What I got here is the new Edge Connect tablet that uh, basically Warner and a bunch of other people are going to. That's who I currently work for right now. Uh, so basically, what I'm gonna do is show you, I guess, the basic stuff. Uh, sorry if the camera light's not that good with it, it's too bright. Let's see if I can adjust it, I'm not sure. There. See if that'll work. Hopefully, y'all can see. Uh, so, how this one's set up different than the Qualcomm. Now you got um, all these tap uh, apps and stuff. DVIR is your driver of vehicle inspection report. Um, you click that. And all my stuff, it, it probably won't show up though. Um, you have your. I'm trying to keep it where I, I don't show uh, personal information, um, but you can see it in the top. Uh, so, uh, whatever. Um, driver ID would be right there. Truck number. Um, driver name, which isn't showing up. Odometer. Jurisdiction. That basically. Just tell them basically where you're doing the pre trip or the inspection report at. So, basically, wherever you're at. Depend on what state you're in. Um, do that. Um, go around the truck. Look around the truck. This is on the inspection report. You have to send a separate one for the tractor and one for the trailer. It's not all together like it used to be. That's the only difference from the tablet and the Qualcomm. If there's no issues, you click no defects and then scroll all the way down. And then you click this right here and submit. That's for the tractor. It's a trailer. Um, you click trailer. Um, just click this, whatever it is, if it's fleet owned, customer leased, or other. Then you type in the trailer number, what date and time you do it. These go in 24 hour times. So, um, which way? Um, then you put, if you, I usually put the trailer's license plate so you know what trailer exactly. Then you do the, uh, what is it? state you're in also like the tractor if there's no issues you'd click no defects um then like i said before hit this button right here and then submit it let's see if i can go back and on here here's your back button this the middle one's the home button this one pulls up all your apps if you're full with a um android tablet because this one runs off Android. Hours of service. Click that to see your overview of basically what you've been doing throughout the day. So basically, uh, so if you go on to which I'll go over all that in a little bit. Um, basically throughout the day where I started. Scroll all the way down. That's for yesterday, whatever it was. See where at shift in. I'll go over that. Uh, once I get to it The difference between this one and the what you call it Qualcomm is when you go on duty pre-trip you also have to Send the DVIR with it So basically it shows your um, if I can get it to focus it's burning anything in here um, Shows you your normal gauge and stuff you And all that it would show you your load for that day, which I don't have it on there. Uh, review that shows your unidentified driving times, which I had to reject some from earlier. Um, go back, see if you're letting. Um, workflow, that basically shows you all your loads. This is the one people have been having problems with. Uh, when you start out, this is where, where I went first. Um, it goes by task now. So basically, <coughs> excuse me, when you start the day, you'd have task one, which is same thing as your macro arrived at shipper you'd go in there basically and uh, hit confirm it would send that macro like you or message like it would be the macro so it'd be you send arrived at shipper and then the next one it'd pop up uh, would be task 2 which is the macro uh, let's see what um, I think it'd be macro 2 
or let's see yeah I think it's macro too if it's on one or stuff every company has different stuff um, I have complete loading once you do all that stuff do all that stuff confirm then your ne wherever your next stop is this is actually the load I'm going to next so um, let me click it let's see now we're done that, so that's where I'm going next. So basically, the next one would be arrived at uh, Constantine. Um, once you get there, which I, I, I'm about 800 miles or 700 miles where I gotta go till I get there. So, um, so when you get there, I'm not gonna hit it because I'm not there. You'd hit submit, and then it'd send arrived at Constantine. Constantine. Then once you get done with that, it's probably yeah, it will be. Okay, uh, once you get down there, it's a task 2 empty load. So that's like your macro file. Um, I have empty load, build a load at destination. Um, basically, when there's a load available, um, it'd come on this screen right here. Or let's see, available and then between available and new, usually it shows up on, but when you get one it'll say uh, the, what it is exactly you review it and you click where it say review and then activate and then it'll pop up on activate where this one is um, and then complete this one I already did uh, uh, that 400 miles all that good stuff um, four messages free four messages or four messages um, everything's set up in alphabetical order. You don't have macro numbers anymore. So basically all your stuff right here, you just gotta look for it. Um, and I'm trying to explain this stuff the best I know how. I'm still new to this thing, but I'm just trying to help you all the best I know it, um, with what I learned with it. I'm trying to move it slow enough where y'all can read everything. Okay. So basically, uh, which usually, uh, if you want to load, basically you just click the available for load, and it's like the normal available for load, yes or no, send it, and then it does the same thing as before. Um, so if you click the the envelope, like no, like on the Qualcomm, it pulls up your messages. Click view all. Um, and I was talking between uh. What is it? Um, other people. And talking about, I guess, the weather and stuff. Could have had a tornado warning where I was. Click that. Diagnosed it. And this thing's bad about doing that too. Um, if it disconnects from it, which it's not a big deal. Then your uh, corner, you have your DOT 30 minute clock. How many? I guess hours till you got till you got to take a break. Uh, everything's uh, in a digital clock like this. That's in US clock, and if you're in Canada, you click this one. But that shows you your uh, recaps over here. Uh, your hours gain back right here. And your 8 hour clock, 11 hour clock, 14 hour clock, and 70 hour clock. Which I just started my week uh, today. Um, so, yeah. Let me go back. Let's see where I'm at. Messaging. Uh, I think I was already there. Same thing. Uh, what you just seen earlier. That that, ju that just does the same thing the envelope does. And you do have your Drive Warner app. You have to sign in like you would on your phone. Yes. It'll load up in a minute. And the tablets are supposed to have their own service. And they're supposed to... Um, what I was told um, new uh, navigation thing is the uh, co-pilot which is supposed to be a version of a truck GPS and this is my current map for my next load thing it's got the triangle because it lost its connection to the CV thing D thing or whatever in the truck it, it'll connect back in a minute um, it'll get a connection back in a minute Probably, they're probably updating the um, software 
I do not want to exit because I need the my thing and this guy better not hit my truck. Dang Lane Star uh which go ahead uh, got right up to my truck. Uh what Damn it just connected, okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, this Landstar truck, he basically got really close to the front of my truck just now. Um, but back to the thing, um, it, the clock goes at, in a, what is it, um, 24 hour clock. So this is where you go to go and do, you click this, if it'll let me click it. And here's your hours of duty still. I'm already off duty, but obviously, uh, when you go off duty, I'm not... I still gotta do this though, but um, just for the sake of this thing, uh, I'm at. We're just gonna go ahead and end my shift because I'm planning on going to sleep for the night. Uh, do all that, confirm changes. guess that's where I'm at. Um, it does that. View and all that good stuff. Just had to do that real quick. Uh, personal conveyance, you click that. Uh, um, you gotta pick an option now if it'll load up. Either have... Sorry. It's, okay. Going home, returning from home, safe haven, or short distance. So short distance would be like going to Walmart in your town. Give, give a second still doing something. Yeah, they decided they wanted to update the stuff um, right at the wrong time. Which they did tell me they were supposed to do an update um, later tonight. Just give it a second. Okay. Inside of that. And sleeper, which I'm gonna go on sleeper anyways. So my clock, you can just click sleeper, um, and all that stuff. Uh, it'll tell you where you are and all that stuff. And when you do confirm changes and go to sleeper, it turns the volume off so it doesn't wake you up. Which I noticed that that's a pretty cool feature. Um, driving clock. Uh, and it'll ask you to start your shift, no. Um, on duty, on duty. Um, get accident, border crossing, carter, cargo check if I can talk right. DOT inspection, drop trailer, dropping hook, fuel, hook trailer, loading, observation time, on duty, physical, pre-trip inspection, which I re recommend y'all do. Um, scale, split, swap, and unloading. Okay. Yard move. This is what different than the thing. Uh, yard move. You, you got now. You have to pick what you're doing uh, for yard move. You can't just go on yard move. Now you got to pick what you, what yard move for. Cosine, shipper, or terminal or drop yard. You have to pick one of those from now, and then you hit complete. Um, but yeah. Let's see if I can forget. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. And basically, uh, it's gonna, how you edit this stuff, they have a video for it. Um, but I have to make another video and explain that other stuff on here because it would make this video way too long. But with these, you do have a stylus pen. I might not be able to get it out because I'm using one hand. It does have a, you're not going to be able to see it really, front facing camera right there. I'm going to show you the back without damaging it because I don't, I don't want to pay for this thing. Um, you also have a rear camera on it which does take pretty clear pictures. Bad thing is this thing doesn't have a kickstand on it. That's what sucks about it. Um, it does have a headphone jack and looks to be USB Type-C. So that works. 
so we can use uh, my charger on it to charge it even though it's charges in its base up there um, I know I'm forgetting some uh, give me a sec gotta figure out where I was yeah if you click that top three it shows everything so you can see everything so like scroll through everything it does have drive wise built in Wi-Fi manager that's what you do to get, go in there and then type in I guess whatever your truck number is and stuff they have to rip when they put the Qualcomm in they have to rip out everything dealing with the Qualcomm and then put the Wi-Fi system in which takes about an hour, hour and a half to two hours it took them about an hour and a half to do this truck which I'm getting a new truck anyways this one's getting replaced because it's been the shop more than anything um, but yeah let's see I'm trying to figure out hopefully I tried to explain uh, everything real good um, maybe stops shipment details um, that's for the first one the shipment it'll tip it's gonna load up uh, it was a live load um, so you yeah, don't have an appointment and you don't have shipping number anymore your shipping number is going to be reference number and this one actually tells me if it's live load because you all that stuff pieces all that good stuff I got seven, six or seven days till my MTPs do. So uh, I may have to do that. Uh, I don't want to. That's just for the truck though. But um, if I, you got a new truck, you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, um, trying to figure out if I forgot anything. I probably did more than likely. But if you have ever had an Android tablet. Uh, you know how, what sound they usually make when you get a notification. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out where I was. It's basically not really that hard. It's just if you're not used to um, tablets, then it'll throw you off at first. But um, you edit this stuff. Basically, I'm not going to do it because I'll mess it up. Um, but you basically click what you want um, to change, and it goes over here. I mean, you click what you do, what what you want. Uh, I'm not gonna do it because um, it'll mess up my wallet thing. Uh, basically, what you want, you click which one you want, um, and it asks you the reason for it. You type in your reason, hit OK, submit or OK, whatever it pops up, and then it'll change that to whatever you want and then it have an M right next to the letter M uh, at, for uh, what you call it, it showing it's been edited but yeah hopefully this video helped y'all out um, if y'all have any questions please feel free to comment or message me on here um, and I'll be sure to get back with you as soon as possible I'm going to be trying to make more videos as soon as I can Hopefully y'all like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks everybody. Peace.